Hello there, and welcome back to another TF2 video. Now this is another annual little video I like to do at the beginning or the end of every year, and that is to uh, review my loadout for TF2, review my backpack, and then see what it looks like at the end of 2021 slash beginning of 2022. So that's what we're doing right now. This is the end of 2020, early 2021 loadout showcase. Um, I will be showing my loadout here, and then last year's here from last video so yeah uh, let's uh, let's jump into it first one is scout now i don't play scout as much as i uh, used to um i've kind of fallen off playing him recently but i just he's still a fun class to play and i do hop on him occasionally i just think he's too weak um i've gotten used to playing like pyro and soldier who have a lot more X uh, hp than scout does but i still hop on occasionally and this is what i'm rocking we got the boston boomstick of course my uh, favorite scattergun that i own and then for cosmetics we have the whiteout wraps the prehistoric pullover and the particulate protector which is a new cosmetic they added in 2020 uh, for the winter 2020 case and i think uh i think it looks pretty good uh b is my second scout loadout this used to be my main scout loadout but i've since changed it to a uh, loadout a and then we have loadout c which is yeah, i occasionally use it and finally my mvm loadout D slot is always MVM. And then we have the uh, hot heels, lovely little shoes, the Yeet Oiled Baker Boy, and the weight room warmer. Now our MVM loadouts have a little uh, story behind them, so I kind of try and make them fit around the theme, and I also try to make them have one um, Robo cosmetic in the loadout if it works. Sometimes it doesn't work, but most of my cosmetics it does. Moving on to Soldier. Uh, this is a loadout I've been playing a lot more this year than I was last year. So we've got the Server Clearing Specialized Killstreak Silver Bot Killer Rocket Launcher Mark II. It's very nice. And then we've got the uh, Cuban Bristle Crisis, the Breach and Bomb, and the Veterans Attire. Though I do change out the Breach and Bomb for a unusual. That's what he's supposed to look like. Very nice. Purple energy as well. Best effect. And then we've got this little loadout. Um, yeah, I don't know really what much to say about this. This these cosmetics change quite a bit uh, sometimes this is an aperture hard hat we've got the fashionable reader's choice which is sometimes changed to the macho man and then the classified coif which is it usually it's usually this this is my secondary soldier loadout which is exactly the same as my first one just uses a different rocket launcher i'm not sure why but it's there and then we've got my road to hail zone set this is the uh uh, the, this is a rocket launcher given to me by grizzly berry and then we've got the uh, breach on bomb again the cold snap coat which i unboxed and then the Macho Man again. Very nice looking loadout. And then for D, this is my MVM loadout again. I've got the Soldier Spark Plug as the um, Robo Cosmetic the Cold Snap Coat because I feel like it works well. And the lumber Lumbricus Lid because I love the Holy Hand Grenades. I wish it didn't have the eyebrows, but it is what it is. Pyro, this is not my main loadout. This is kind of one I, uh, I enjoy uh, messing about with. And uh, as it's an experimental uh, loadout, he's got an experimental hard hat on. So we have the Genuine Aperture Hard Hat. A glamorous hot case, a very nice cosmetic, and the cute suit, also a very nice cosmetic. And then B is my secondary pyro, got the reader's choice again, the hot case, and the uh, cotton head. He curious like a little uh, vault tech kind of kind of look, which I quite like. So we have Neil deGrasse Tyson, obviously, and then we have my unusual handyman's handle, my favourite hat. I'm never getting rid of it. I might get another one with a different effect, but I'm never getting rid of this one. The Australian Dead of Night. Lovely cosmetic. I can't believe I unboxed it. I was like, oh, holy shit. And I've been using it on a lot of loadouts. And then the binoculars because they're just a sick cosmetic. But they are sometimes changed out for the cute suit. Should I feel like the cute suit works better. And then for my MVM loadout, this one does change quite a bit. It's either the uh, Phlogistonator or the Nostromo Napalmer, depending on what the uh, wave calls for. Also, it's the proof of purchase, yes. Wanted to flex that I bought TF2. I didn't actually, I got it in the orange box, but it's, that's that. The hot case again, and then the mare mask for that lovely uh, wartime effect. This one doesn't have a robot cosmetic, but I think the mare mask works well. Then we have the demo man. This is my advertising loadout. I want to make a video where I advertise aggressively, like Red Robot did. Got my uh, icon everywhere, lovely stuff. The ham man, of course. This was in my demo ham video. And he has the Yule Hog, the Man of the Seven Seas, and the Macho Man to complete his loadout. Very nice. Then we have my main Demo Man loadout with the lock and load, but it's also the grenade launcher sometimes. Um, and then we have the Cool Breeze, lovely cosmetic. The Summer Shades, another great cosmetic. And the Sophisticated Smoker, which is another great cosmetic they added this year. Sometimes this will be the Saxton hat, but I 
I do like this loadout a bit more, so we're going to keep it like this for now. And then for my MVM loadout, there is no Robo Cosmetic in this set, but I think the cosmetics I chose work well nonetheless. And then we have the Blast Blocker, the Blast Defense, and the Double Dog Dare Demo Pants, just for a um, nice cosmetic. And he looks pretty, like, he looks like a bulky boy who's ready to stop robots, which is what I like to see. Then we have the Heavy Weapons guy. This is the, the OG Heavy loadout I use. And then we have the Hunter Heavy, the Jungle Booty, and the Thanks Shoryuki Chan Pugilist Protector. Lovely stuff. First unusual, I have to mention it every time I talk about it. And this is my secondary loadout. I mess around with loadouts on here, so we have the boxed Tommy Slab at the moment. Then we have the Weight Room Warmer, the unusual well rounded Rifleman, and the Black Bash Supporter 2019. Love that. And then we have the, the lovely, the lovely Heavy Weapons guy that was in my One Key Challenge on Pyro Joe's channel. Now these weapons, they don't matter, they're just there for the fun of it. But we have the Consensus Objector with the Make 2 Fort Great Again sign, lovely stuff. We have the Coup Disaster, the Man of the House, and the Siberian Sophisticate for a lovely Donald Trump heavy loadout. And then my MVM heavy is here. Look at him, what a beautiful guy. And then we have the Saw Platinum Coat, the Cuban Bristle Crisis, and the Polar Bear to create a lovely looking heavy weapons guy ready to bash some robot schools in. And here we have the engineer. Now this loadout isn't the one I use the most, but sometimes I'll hop on if I want to run around with a different loadout to what I usually rock. And then we have the uh, the trash toter, carries around all this scrap mail in there, the timeless topper, very similar to the one Pyro Joe destroyed. Hmm, I got a new one. And then we have this boy, this is my uh, Eureka Effect wrench loadout. This is the one I'll use if I want to build normal sentries for once, I know, a very strange uh, occurrence. Lovely stuff. With the sophisticated smoker, the eggheads overalls, and uh, the idea tube. He's like a fat inventor kind of guy, you know? And then I've got my main NG loadout here. Then I'm using the gold digger, the dead of night, and the timeless topper to create this beautiful uh, Uncle Dane knockoff <laughs> loadout. He's not an Uncle Dane knockoff, I just like the beard. Then we've got the MVM loadout, the rescue ranger to save my sentry gun. And then we have the all father crafted by yours truly. The genuine pit boy because I like the reskin it does of the um, build UI and the Texas Tin Gallon. Um, I was using the Viking Bradier, but this beard works better, I feel. Okay, over to Medic, wonderful Medic. Uh, I don't use this loadout a lot, if I'm honest with you. I just think it looks pretty cool. And then for this, we have the Surgical Survivalist, the Bunny Hopper's Ballistic Vest, and the uh, Cold Trunk Commander, which is a lovely Star Wars cosmetic because this is my main loadout. A proper Imperial German looking fella. And then we have the Blighted Beak in um, this style. Yasina uh, Pestis with the Scourge of the Sky and the Vintage Prussian Pickle Hope painted white to fit the whole colour scheme. Very nice. Um, and then we have this dude. He's just there to take up a slot really. And then we have my MVM looking loadout. Very similar to the first one. And then we have the, v the uh, Vitals Vest, the Cold Front Commander and the Surgical Survivalist. Now this was originally a Robo Hat. Let me see if I can find it. Yes, it was originally the Virus Doctor, but the Cold Front Commander looks so much better. So that's what we're using. And then for Sniper, we have the uh, Jurati Wizard fella. He's like a old hunter type guy with a nice vest for some reason. We have the fe we have the uh, spe Specialized Killstreak Festive Huntman, a very nice reskin. Always wanted to own one, so I'm happy I finally do. And then we have the Five Month Shadow Painted Grey to relieve him that old man aesthetic, as you can see here. The Outback Intellectual, which is a very nice cosmetic, gives him a pipe as well, which is always a bonus. And then the Cobber Chameleon, just his little companion, you know, just there to chill with him. Uh, this is the main sniper loadout. We have the Down Under Duster, the Saxton, and the Macho Man to create this beautiful looking sniper. And then we have um, the Classic Man with the Kill Street Classic, which has no kills on it for some reason, with a Chronomancer, the uh, Frontier, just the Final Frontiersman, sorry and then a Manco cap, which I'm changing to this Manco cap because it fits the loadout much better. And then finally we've got my MVM loadout. I don't really play Sniper in MVM, but this is what I would use if I did. And he's got like an army man sort of <laughs> sort of look with him. So we've got the, the head hedge, the jarments, and then the handsome hitman, which is a very nice sniper cosmetic and I'm a big fan of it. And finally, with the spy. This is the observer. You know that meme? That meme was very, very poggers. Then we have the uh, vintage camera beard the upgrade and the shutter bug to create a perfect observer spy. And then we have my main spy loadout, then we've got the strange lurkers leathers, 
the strange reader's choice and the cotton head again to create a sophisticated looking fellow and then we have this fella spy number two or three i guess i had to kill four the macho man and the blood banker to create this other very sophisticated looking spy and finally my mvm loadout yes it's an interesting one this the particulate protectors are very nice the lady killer my favorite spy one of my favorite spy cosmetics and the deep cover operator to add to the little army feel of him so yeah that is my tf2 loadout as at as of the end of 2020 beginning of 2021 i've been the giant tree please like subscribe down below and uh, yeah i hope you found this video interesting somewhat to see how my loadouts have changed through the year and i shall see you guys later peace hey, oh, uh, uh, i've been up for like two hours two hours Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy, I just money dance. Yeah, that wristwatch costs a hundred grand.